This video covers the common variable immunodeficiency. There will be some questions at the end. Common variable immunodeficiency is Primary immunodeficiency disorder affects many organs and systems. Defect in the differentiation of B cells, leading to reduced antibody production. Cause unknown in most cases, common variable immunodeficiency, may present in childhood, but usually diagnosed after puberty. Symptoms, recurrent bacterial infections, increased risk of autoimmune diseases, bronchiectasis, and lymphoma. Low levels of immunoglobulins, particularly IgG, and decreased numbers of plasma cells. Treatment, immunoglobulin replacement therapy. It's short but we cover all the important points for the exam as in the first aid book. Please review. Let's try some questions now. 24-year-old male presence with recurrent bacterial infections of the sinuses, lungs, and ears. On laboratory evaluation, he is found to have low levels of immunoglobulins, particularly Ig. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Common variable immunodeficiency. B. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. C. Hyper-IgM syndrome. D. Selective ega deficiency. E. D. George syndrome. The answer is, A. Common variable immunodeficiency. Choice B should have low or absent all immunoglobulins. Choice C should have elevated IgM. Choice D should have low IgA only. E. D. George syndrome should have CAC 22. Please watch the video on D. George syndrome. A 30-year-old female presence with chronic diarrhea, weight loss, and abdominal pain. On laboratory evaluation, she is found to have low levels of immunoglobulins, particularly IgA and IgG, and decreased numbers of plasma cells. A colonoscopy reveals diffuse lymphoid nodular hyperplasia. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. B. Hyper-IgM syndrome. C. Common variable immunodeficiency. D. Selective ega deficiency. E. Viscot-Aldrich syndrome. The answer is C. Common variable immunodeficiency. A 35-year-old male with a history of common variable immunodeficiency presence with abdominal pain and jaundice. On imaging, he is found to have multiple liver lesions. Biopsy of one of the lesions reveals a lymphoid infiltrate consistent with lymphoma. Which of the following lymphoma subtypes is most commonly associated with common variable immunodeficiency? A. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. B. Hodgkin's lymphoma. C. Mantle cell lymphoma. D. Follicular lymphoma. E. Burkitt lymphoma. The answer is, A. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Common variable immunodeficiency, CVID, is associated with an increased risk of lymphoma, particularly of the B-cell type. The most common subtype of lymphoma associated with CUD is diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL, accounting for approximately 50% of cases. Other subtypes that may be seen include follicular lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma, and lymphoplasmocytic lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma and Burkitt's lymphoma are not commonly associated with CUD. Mantle cell lymphoma may occur in patients with CUD, but it is less common than DLBCL. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.